On this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Hisense A6H using Wi-Fi and connecting to the Google TV services. So on the back of this television, I have a PS5 plugged in, plus I have an over-the-air antenna, but you can use a cable box or satellite box as well, as long as it has an HDMI output. The first thing you want to do is choose your language, then choose your region. Now, since we're going to set this up with Google TV, let's go and press on that. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can use the home application or you can arrow down and use the TV remote instead. The first thing you wanna do is log into your Wi-Fi if you don't have a ethernet connection plugged in on the back. So now that I entered my Wi-Fi password, it is connected to my network and the TV is gonna look for updates. For this next step, you wanna go ahead and enter your Gmail account. If you don't have one, go down here to the bottom and hit create and then you can fill out the form, but I do have a Gmail account, so I'll go ahead and enter it in. So once you get your demo account entered, you wanna go ahead and accept the terms and conditions, but make sure you read through everything so you feel comfortable with it. Since we are gonna be using the Google services, you can use your location so it can look up restaurants and things nearby you. And once you get all the boxes checked that you want, go ahead and press on accept. Now the next thing we're gonna do is set up the Google Assistant. So go ahead and hit continue. And if you hit allow on this one, it's gonna allow Google to look through all your apps on your TV. I'll go and allow that, but you can hit no thanks if you don't wanna do that. The next step is to activate your voice match. I will tell you that I've already set this up, but you can set it up now if you like. And personal results is that it's gonna use your Gmail account to look at certain things, like if you wanna set up the photo album and things like that. Now, if you have any applications that you use a lot and you have the logins, you can go ahead and check all these boxes. And what it's gonna do is when the TV boots up, it's gonna go ahead and install those as the part of the service. Go ahead and press confirm. Now that we have the Google set up, the next thing we need to do is set up all the terms and conditions for Hisense. So you wanna go ahead and press on start. And now we're gonna pair the remote control by pressing the home and the back button at the exact same time for about three seconds. Now you will see the indicator on the remote turn purple and then it'll flash green and blue. Now the remote control is paired, we can start using the voice commands. And the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and enter your zip code for TV services, but that's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and skip it for now, but if you have antenna hooked up on the back, this really helps out the menu and the guide. Here we have the Hisense user agreement. Make sure you read through everything and that you're comfortable. And if you are, go ahead and press on accept. And if you're interested in help Hisense make the products better, you can accept, but I always skip that, but it's completely up to you. If you want to register your TV, you can do it now by using your smartphone and scanning the barcode. And now we have that set up. We can go ahead and press on done. The next step is it's going to go ahead and install the applications that I showed you guys earlier, and it's going to install some other apps that get the TV up and running. Now this process can take usually about five to 10 minutes. And this is the main operating system, so you can start customizing and watching some of your favorite content. Next.